Hey you guys. <clears throat> well, if you're here, you're probably looking to um, upgrade your old MacBook mid 2010. Um, there's a couple of things you should know before you start doing this. Uh, can your MacBook actually take the 16 gigs you want to put into it? There are several ways of looking at this. One way is to make sure you know your operating system. Besides what, you know, about this Mac tells you. There's an app called, where is it, uh, Mac Tracker. Mac Tracker. This Mac is free. You can get it at the App Store. What's cool about this is, you, it's, it's like a little mini encyclopedia <laughs> for Macs. Anyway, any Apple Mac, anything that ever came out since the 70s, um, it's in here. Service, device, a anything. But what you want to do is you go over here to this Mac. And it's basically doing like a little scan, a quick search. And it's going to tell you what you got. Just click on it. And um, here we go. Go to general. So, in order to do a 16 gig, it has to be a MacBook 7.1. Um, another must is 2.4 gigahertz, the processor speed, and 64-bit. These are musts. Now you go to memory and graphics. Here, as you can see, it says 16 gigabytes actual and four gigabytes what Apple tells you now I already have installed the 16 gigabytes and it's working beautifully I haven't seen a spinning wheel since I put this in I have I don't know how much stuff running right now simultaneously I have iMovie, photos QuickTime, Safari, uh, before it just used to crash while using you know, two apps at once, it, it will just crash. But now it's running smooth. So, yeah. So get this Mac Tracker to figure out exactly what you got. Ah. Another, once you figure out exactly what you got, is you go to this, everymac.com. So you go to MacBook, Whitebook, there you go. Duo, mid 2010. And here on this page, it's the layout is kind of weird, but anyway, right here, you could, it will take you directly upgrade this Mac. Okay, so we click there, and here we go. It brings you to Mac sales, and it tells you right here, MacBook 2.4, 13-inch, mid-2010. 
2010. Uh, th these are the available upgrades for it. You can do internal drive options, external video software. Uh, you, you could pimp this thing out. Anyway, 8 gigs, 16 gigs. All right, the 16 gig is a little pricey, 100 bucks, but come on, 100 bucks. It's worth it. <laughs> it really is. I was considering buying a new laptop, and right now I don't need it because this is doing everything perfectly. So I recommend doing the 16 gig, and the company is OWC. Um, like I said, it works perfectly. And it's very easy to install. Very easy. It's, it's like changing batteries. I don't know. How, that's how simple it is. You take out the two cards, you put on in another two. It, it shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. That's how long it took me. Um, yeah. So it is doable and I do recommend it and I do recommend going with OWC because I think I'm pretty sure they're the only ones that the 16 gigs actually work I've never heard of anybody complaining it actually works it, now you could do 8 gigs you know if you can't afford it but you know whatever it's up to you um, another thing I want to show you, put this away, the, uh, Mac Tracker, in case, um, you know, you're not sure how to install memory, it tells you right here, upgrade instructions, how to remove, <clears throat> sorry, or install memory. You just click that. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Don't ask me again. So now it's gonna go to Apple. Not a single spinning wheel. I'm telling you, I have all these programs running. <laughs> 16 gigs makes such a big difference. Anyway, uh, where are we? MacBook 318, mid 2010. Uh, See over here, it tells you base memory 2 gigabytes, but also configure to order. Maximum memory 4 gigs. This is Apple telling you maximum is 4 gigs. You know why they're doing that. All right. Okay, let's be real. <laughs> and here it shows you that. Just take off the back plate. There you go, the cards are there. You take out the two cards. And you're done. You put the back plate back on and it's finished. But look how smoothly this thing is running. I, I haven't seen a spinning wheel. Well, watch one pop up now when I move. Nope. I, actually, I did make a video for this, but you know what? Eh, maybe I'll put it together. Just wanted to do a quick one. But as you see, nothing, I have all this stuff running. 16 gigs, nothing. It's not lagging, it's not doing anything. Safari, Spotify, uh, sorry, uh, iMovie, QuickTime. Anyway. You guys who have this 13, you know it freezes with two things running. Safari and QuickTime right there. It's frozen. It's done when it's running with two gigs. But now, okay, let's go to about this Mac. Memory. There we go. I have the full 16. And it's running perfectly perfect okay take care